Hey friends, let's get another painting going. I'm gonna paint a cow with a sunflower. I've got the traceable already on my website. You can, this is eight by 10. You can paint it eight by 10, or I'm gonna paint it 16 by 20 on a Michaels canvas. It's a level three canvas, uh, gallery wrapped. It's gallery wrapped, it's splined, which means it's tucked. What else do I need to tell you? Oh, uh, what inspired me to do this painting is I have a black and white, I think it's an eight by 10, cow painting. It's one of my, it's not my very first video, but it's a really early video on my YouTube channel. And it's got a little daisy in its mouth. And I think it's got, I don't know how many, 5,000 views. So I thought we better do another one with a traceable and some tips. Let's get started. Okay, I've got you pretty close. You're sort of over my shoulder and to the side. Oh, and you can tell it's nighttime because I'm getting shadows. Um, I marked my horizon line with watercolor pencil about six and a half inches down. You can do wherever you like. Um, I just figured that because I printed out my traceable at 200%. Um, I have a link on my traceable download page. I have several links to the same place and it shows you how to tile the pieces of paper print it out as a poster and then you can see that's where my horizon line goes and I'm gonna I think well I say I think I'm gonna paint this hopefully you can hear me I was talking away from the phone I'm gonna paint this black and white so I have Liquitex Mars black and Liquitex titanium white um, Sort of like this, the larger snowman painting I did a few months ago. And I, I'm gonna paint it all black and white. And then I think what I'm gonna do is glaze color over it and see how it looks. Hopefully it's gonna look really cool. <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, I've got the word love on my canvas because it's a great way to start. Is there anything else we need to know? Oh, I think I'm gonna use a one inch Lowell Cornell flat brush. That might be a bright. I never know the difference. I think the flats are longer and the brights are shorter. I may have that backwards. I can't think if there's anything else. I might mist my canvas. Oh, I gotta go get my mister. And I think I'll do some time lapse and then I'll pop in with some comments just to keep the video a little shorter. All right, I grabbed my, it's just a little, I think it was eyeglass cleaner was it used to be in there. It's water now. I think I'm gonna mist. I don't know if it's gonna help. Actually, maybe I should just kind of miss one area. Oh, and then I used a little T-square to draw my straight line. Just line it up with the edge. Okay, I think that's pretty much everything. Leave any questions you have uh, in the comments. I love chatting with you guys. So if you have any questions, let me know. So I'm just gonna grab a little white, a little black. I think I want it, oh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I think I want it kind of darker. Oh, that's really dark. Grab some white. Darker around my horizon line. Maybe we'll hint at some trees or something down here. Sorry about my head, I'm gonna paint paint on the side here where I've got that shade of gray. Okay, let's do some time lapse for a little bit.
Hey guys, let's take a second and talk about what's going on here. So I would I'm I'm <laughs> I'm trying to decide. I kind of want to do an all black and white painting. But I'm already getting nervous because it looks I just lightened it up some with some white. I glazed some white. I added some more white to the sky. I knocked that back a little bit. I uh, glazed a little white over there and I put a little darker here for a little bit more of a focal point. Um, so I, I kind of want to do a black and white painting, but I don't know if it's going to work. But really, I shouldn't be too nervous because I can glaze color over it and you have, actually have a nice soft effect. Uh, for a while, I was thinking about just having this painting stand as is, because it's kind of a nice landscape painting. But since it's all gray, it still might need a little bit of color here and there. Um, maybe I'll play with some glaze next before I put the cow traceable on top of it. Um, you saw me hold it up there a little bit, a bit ago, because I was just looking to see if I put a focal point there. It does show, because the ear comes up here. Um... I just wanted to pop in and let you know what I'm thinking. Um, some people really like neutral paintings, and a neutral painting can have some color in it, too. Um, I just thought maybe a black and white one would be fun. It's sort of like the snowman painting I did uh, a month or two ago. On uh, there, It's on YouTube. It has a traceable, but it had pops of color. The snowman had a pop of color in the band, and it was holding some hearts. Anyway, I just wanted to, to talk about what I'm thinking um, it's kind of a nice landscape, but it does look kind of gloomy. And then you could see this as water or not. It could just be smoother, out of focus land. It goes down a little bit. I mean, there's everybody see, I, I posted it on Facebook and everybody saw a little bit, something a little bit different in it, which that's really the cool thing about art is everybody relates to it a little bit differently. Okay. I think. I think I might glaze a little. I don't know. I probably, a lot of times I don't like the background and then I get myself in trouble. Maybe I should paint the cow, get the cow on there next. And then we can always glaze at the end.
bit about the cow's eye. I've started painting it, oh, where is it? I started painting it with a number one round. It's a Simply Simmons. I washed it, it's a little wet. And then, so it's not done. But what I did was find my darkest area, so I wanted there to be a dark, darkest area, oh, it's still a little wet, around the bottom of the eyeball. And then in my reference photo, the lashes are actually black, but I decided I wanted a little shadow underneath the lashes. And I've shaped the eyelid a little bit, but I haven't painted any of the mid values of the eye. And then underneath the eye is another black area, and it doesn't show up, but I put a little gray edge in there and it, it's going to need more adjusting but just so you can see you know the different um, shapes of the eye and the underneath the eye and the bulges so I just wanted to show you so if you guys are trying to paint an eye that's my first sort of brush work um, just finding the black areas first you could start with the whites but this the lights coming from let me back up a little bit the lights coming from over here so this is a shadow side of the face and this is a lighter side of the face. So there won't be white white in this eye. Um, I probably will just put a gray highlight in there. Okay, I hope that helps a little bit. I'm gonna paint a little more on it and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, look two at the eye and the shadow. So I added, oh here, hang on a sec. Let me show you. So I've mixed kind of a a medium dark gray, just so I'm not always mixing all the time, um, although you can tell I mix a lot. <laughs> I grabbed a little medium dark gray and put it in here and it actually just filled it all around that black spot I had there. And then I cleaned off my brush and took a little black and then just little scumbling blended in. And I've kind of got a highlight right there I'm gonna leave this eye alone until I get the rest of the cow painted. I don't know if it's gonna need more highlight than that. That looks pretty good. I'm just getting my first layer down. Um, this is too light right here, that needs to go darker. Oh, and then while I'm thinking of it, this is two to three layers because it'll show little pops of the canvas through it. Okay, one last look at the eye and we're gonna move on. So I scumbled in some more darks. So I put like a little paint down maybe here and then just dry brushed it in. I'm pretty sure that's gonna need to be darker. But I've got, I'm just basically painting shapes and values. And that's a great base layer or almost done layer for the eye. I need to work on everything else to see if it needs to be darker or not. But I just thought I'd show you how I build it. I thought that might be helpful. starting to work on the other eye and before we I show you the first steps of that eye um this isn't like always must be rule of landscape but usually the ground is darker than the sky if the sky is I mean this sky looks stormier because it's grayer I may lighten this up and I wanted to mention that uh, so I didn't forget and then I've put just the black in this eye. See if I can get it right there. Oh, and then I scumbled some lighter gray next to it so it stands out a little bit better. I originally had this lighter and then I made it darker before I started painting the cow. And now I'm gradually making this area lighter just to get the, the contrast. You may not have to do that because it'll just depend on what you like and what you did with your background. Anyway, oh, was that a good look at the eye? I just put the blacks in, some lines in, 
and then I'll put some grays in just like I did with the other one. Let's take a quick look at the eye again on the light side of the face. Okay, so I've added, sorry, I'm trying to get it <laughs> to where you can see it and I can see it too. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that, guys. So I added some darks, a little bit more darks. Um, the eyelashes are quite light. I think I'm gonna lighten those up. I added some highlights coming up. And I actually made the eye a smidgy bigger than in my traceable, which means I just painted, instead of on the line, I painted a little outside the line. Just because sometimes I'll make the eyes a smidgy bigger because they look, I think it looks better, it looks sweeter. But anyway, it's looking pretty darn good. The fur looks pretty good already. It needs more white because even though the zinc white, or not the zinc white, the uh, titanium white is much more opaque, then if you use a zinc white, it still shows the gray underneath it, but that's okay. Cause it's easier to get little pops of white here. If I can show you little pops of white that are kind of fun. Hey, a couple comments before I quit for the night. I'm getting tired. So that means it's time to stop painting. Um, I've switched to an angle brush. It's not that big. You can kind of see it next to my thumb there. Oh, it says it's a number, or it is a 3 8 inch Royal Langnickel. And I still got the same palette going. I just keep mixing grays. Um, I'm starting to work on the nose, so I picked the angle brush because I can do little, little lines with the tip of it, or I can, it makes good fur, really nice fur. And this, so right now it looks pretty good. But the nose is really much whiter, so I need to lighten this up and have less shadow, but it's easy to go over it with white and lighten it up. Um, I'm kind of waiting to see how the eyes look. I wanted to show you that I'm just painting the shapes and shadows I see on the nose, and it really doesn't look that good. <laughs> you know, so when you take maybe take a screenshot of my final cow painting here, just paint the shapes and the values you see. Uh, it'll turn out a lot better than instead of painting what you think you see. I don't know if that makes any sense. And then the eyes are pretty much done, I think. They might need a little tweaking. We'll see. I, I darkened that little skin flap in the corner. You can see the other eye. Okay, guys, I hope these little moments when I pop in help. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll be back at it tomorrow. Friends, I wanted to pop in. I've been working on the nose. I've added, oh, I think maybe four or five layers of white right there, because I want to make it as white as I can. And then I've added, so I added more white here, even though it's black fur around that eye. Um, there's strong sunlight catching it. So it gives, makes it, gives it a highlight. And then this eye has highlights where I added a little bit more white than this eye. Um, I think the nose is done. It looks good when I look at my phone. Um, in my reference photo, it has spots, but I don't wanna, I need to, I need to start working on the, the back of the sunflower because I've kind of got, so this eye is pretty much on a third and so is that one pretty much. And then it's also on a third here. So I'm thinking that's, one of our strong focal points. And then right here, which is pretty close to the third. 
So I've kind of got, hopefully, this little area of interest going on. And of course, there's other interesting things going on over here. But um, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I'll show you the nose. So, and then I added some highlight here that isn't in the reference photo and a little bit of, oh, I, I uh, put out some zinc white so I could do a little glazing and add some, a little bit more shape to the mouth that isn't in my reference photo. Um, I don't know, we'll just have to see. I think we need to work on the flower and see how that's gonna go. And then I don't know, I'm still debating about whether I wanna add a little pink glazing to the nose. I could add a little blue glazing in the shadows. Uh, we could throw a little pink other places and then a little glazing on the sunflower. I'm not totally sure yet. I'm still working on all my values, but look, it's starting to look really good. It's starting to get really fun because I'm just putting in some brush strokes for the fur. Um, and if it gets too light on you, you can put like a little dark, you can put a little dark spot in, a little more dark back in, a little grays. So if you lose it, don't worry. You can go back and put in some grays. And if you don't like the grays, you can come back and put some whites. You know, keep playing with it. Okay, I just wanted to pop in with what I'm thinking. Time to have a little dinner and then I'll be back. strategy comments and then I'm going to quit for tonight. So I'm working on the sunflower and I thought I'd show you before I get too far so you can see how I'm building it. So I got just some values. Oh sorry I'm moving all over the place. Here, let's start on this side. I'm just got a few values in on the stem. Oh I don't even have the leaf in. And then right here is going to be my darkest area on the sunflower. So that might have to go a little darker. And then my lightest areas are gonna be the actual yellow pe petals if they were yellow. So I have one coat of white on them. And then I'm just basically gonna build in, so cause this is as light as I can go. I mean, I can put another layer of white on it to make it brighter just like I did with the fur. But white is white as I can go and black is as dark as I can go. So then I'll build values in between to get all the different, uh, leaves on the back side of that sunflower. I right, hope I get, that gives you a decent look. Here's the nose again. <laughs> I like all the little chin hairs. Che would you call those cheeks? Cheek hairs. It's really fun. All right, guys. I'll be back tomorrow. black and white part of this painting and you could be done. You don't have to add color. I just, I want to play with this because I've never done this before. I've never painted a black and white painting and then glazed some color over it. So I'm going to work on the nose, maybe adding some warm tones to some of the white fur. Uh, maybe work a little bit on the petal, the yellow sunflower petals. So I've got Titanium white. This is matte medium, which is running because <laughs> it's pretty thin. Uh, Naples yellow, unbleached titanium, uh, portrait pink. You can just dull down a pink you have. Add some, if you don't have unbleached titanium, just add a little bit of yellow, maybe a little bit of raw sienna. That's raw sienna. And just keep muting it down. 
Um, I buy the portrait pink because it's convenient. And I still may mute it. And then I'm going to... So let's start with some portrait pink and a little unbleached titanium because I don't want to go too bright. And then maybe... So the matte medium makes the color much more transparent. You could use water. Um, sometimes you can get too much water and it's harder to paint with. So I'm just gonna, you could use, also use any brush. I've got a filbert here. It says it's a number 12. And I'm just gonna see. So the pink areas, and I actually, I might use my finger too. I'm just gonna go slow and see what I think. Oh, that looks browner. Cause the gray is gonna come up through. So maybe I do want it a little pinker. So I'm just gonna play with, I'm grabbing just a little bit of water cause my, I didn't, my paintbrush was dry. I'm just gonna play with adding some color and see what I, and see what I think. Oh yeah, you can see that. Okay, we're gonna go back to the time lapse here. just talk about a couple things that come to mind so probably longer to paint it black and white first and then glaze over with color but look look how soft that is you know it kind of slows you down or slows me down I should say um, it kind of reminds me I don't know if you guys are old enough to remember but for a while I was taking black and white photographs I'm um, getting them um, printed and then you had these uh, markers they were sort of watercolory um, old-fashioned colors so you would colorize the photo and it looked kind of like old even older photos I don't know if that rings a bell with any of you guys <clears throat> excuse me um, so I added a couple things I did is I have warmer colors there's even some pink here I don't know if you can see it in the video. There's a little bit of pink for a couple of reasons. So, I, so to make it warmer here and go a little bit cooler off into the distance, 
to help tie in what was for a long time a pink only nose. And I didn't put a bunch of spots in the nose even though my reference photo has spots um, because I just didn't want to call too much attention to it. And then there's some pink up here in the white patch on the cow. Just And there's also some blue too. There's some blue in here just to help unify the painting. Here, I'll show you the eyes. So that eye has some blue in it. And then so does that eye, but that eye has lighter blues and more contrast and um, brighter pink too. What else might you, you want to see? Maybe you want to see the, the sky has quite a bit of blue in it. Oh, and then I put some yellows in the sky to help so that for a while, the only thing that was yellow was the sunflower. So I kind of warmed up the grassy area and put a little yellow in the sky. The nice thing about the video is you can stop it if you want to look at something. Oh, and there's some pink in the ear. Those little details help unify the painting and make it more interesting too. And I light, I don't know how many times I lightened the sky. I, I didn't want it to look too stormy. It looks lighter in the video than it does in person. So I'm gonna let this sit in my studio. I might lighten it up a smidge more. But I love how, so my whitest whites, oh, and I put, I don't know how many layers of white on some of this fur, and some of it, of course it leveled, but I've got some even, like a little bit of texture to some of the white. But gosh, I might've put five or six coat of whites in some areas, just to get it to make sure that pops out. I want. I want this to be the whitest whites. Oh, and then I put some white or light, light yellow here, but really no, none here. Cause I'm, I'm kind of trying to get you guys, your eyes to sp spend the most time in this area. Cause this is a third, this is a third. And actually this is, that's pretty, actually it's not quite a third, close to a third. So I'm trying to keep most of the action happening here, but then I add color so it's not, so it's more unified. That's the best word I can come up with. Well, let me know what you think. Oh, my cat's gonna hop up. Also, paint this eight by 10. There's my original, the traceable's online. I've gotten it wet, <laughs> so it's wrinkly, but it'd be a lot quicker, easier than painting it this size. Uh, let me know what you think. Please leave a comment. I hope you enjoyed this one. I, re I really had fun this one, it took me gosh, maybe a month overall to finish it because I'd work on it and I'd work on some other projects and I'd come back and work on it. Um, great big art hugs and I'm looking forward to chatting with you soon. Bye guys.